Hello guys, you're welcome to Vince Tech Class. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through hate speech detection in natural language processing, which involves uh, using algorithms and techniques to identify and categorize text that contains uh, offensive or harmful, or harmful language targeted at a specific individual or group based on attributes uh, such as race, religion, ethnicity, uh, sexual orientation or gender. Uh, we start by importing our required libraries. These are our required libraries. You can make more research on these uh, libraries to gain more insights uh, about these projects. Uh, next, we load our data sets. And uh, this is the location of my data sets in my local system. Next, we use the head function to view the first five rows of our data sets. And if you can observe from the output, this is the first five rows of our data set. Next, we see the shape of our data set. And if you can observe from the output, our data set contains about uh, seven features and uh, 24,783 observations. Uh, next, we create a function called clean to clean our tweets. You can also visit my uh, natural language processing playlist. For more explanation on this uh, next we create uh, new columns which is uh, the hate speech very offensive language no hate no offensive and we use the head function to view the first five rows uh, this can also be called label binarization the essence of doing this is to make the model to perform better because computers understand uh, numbers than text. Uh, next, we, we split our data set into training and testing. And we set our test size to be 0 0.2, that is 20%. That is 20% of our data set will be used for testing. Why 80% of our data set will be used for training? And we set our random state to be 42. Next, we train our model which is the multinomial naive bias model, which is a great fit for text. And we got an accuracy of about 87% um, approximately. Next, we'll be using the tweets and the label uh, column for this tax. And we'll use the uh, head function to view the first five rows of our uh, tweets and label uh, column. Uh, next, let's uh, let's uh, text our model on some random sent on some uh, random sentence. Now let me create a variable called sample. And let's find our text. Like for example, let's say uh, catch them. Let's say uh, catch them and. Uh, them. Our model detected our sample text to be very offensive language with an, an accuracy of about um, 87% uh, approximately. Uh, so guys, that's all for today's uh, tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.